showed up in the hat. You know, I want to let everybody know it's her season. Step back and watch the step cook. You want 17 birds? Big ring, I play for the 17 birds. In my line, if you want 17 birds, big ring, I play for the 17 birds. I know a guy, if you want 17 birds, big ring, I play for the 17 birds. I know a guy, if you want 17 birds, big ring, I play for the 17 birds. Yeah, I'm from the 17th. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lil Brunson back at you with the back at you and I'm the best reporting on the Eagles. Listen, before we get into the meat and potatoes, I gotta let you know, I'm gonna let you know, this video was brought to you by Manscaped. Big Manscaped in the building, bringing you nothing but the latest and the greatest and cutting edge technology, man, to keep today's man groomed. Listen, man. Before she come play on the field. It's that time of the year. Remember that? From the off season. Before she come play on the grass, make sure it's trimmed with Manscaped. Listen, man. You, you see, you see, you see, you see the time I'm on. The ski mask in the back. I feel like this defense is going to create a lot of opportunities for this football team. A lot of opportunities for this football team. Listen, beyond how everybody, how, how up and down the offense may be, you know what I'm saying? I think this defense is the real story of training camp. This defense is showing you that they're going to be the leaders of this football team, and that's cool because we got the offense to do a lot of stuff as well. But this defense should be doing this, man. This is why I'm not too concerned with training camp. I'm really not too concerned with training camp, man. Day four day four was underway today. You know what I mean? A lot of great takeaways from day four. I believe was it the first day in pads. You know what I mean? I think they just had on pads, no bottoms, just shoulder pads. You know what I mean? Doing some bumping and running. Doing some bumping and running. You know what I mean? Getting 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 acclimated to contact. You know what I mean? And, and you know, a couple dudes surprised. A couple dudes surprised. Not really a surprise to us, or it's really not even a surprise to the nation. But they got their first glimpse of Jordan Davis in practice today, and man, they just said he wild. We're not even going to get into it. They just said he wild. Well, we are going to get into it. Let's read this article from um, NBC talking about Eagles training camp. <laughs> We had our first wild moments from Jordan Davis on Monday, and he came during one-on-one drills between offense and defensive linemen. This was the first day in pads, so it was also the first day for one-on-ones, which might be my favorite thing to watch this summer, the author writes. At 6'6", 340 pounds, and with the feet of a circus bear, Davis is built for these drills. On Monday, I almost felt bad for the offensive linemen who were trying to stop him. The most eye-popping rep from Davis came against Jack Anderson. Davis absolutely has has a powerful bull rush, but he's quick too. And if a lineman sits down on a bull rush, Davis can make them pay with speed. So if you're anticipating the bull rush too much and you anchored in that position ready to brace yourself for that contact, he got the quicks to do a quick rip or, or get around you with his speed as well and just have you looking goofy and off balance. Um, listen, man, and that's exactly what happened. Um, he sat down expecting a bull rush because that is Davis's, you know what I mean? That's his go-to move. But when you got that type of speed, when, you, when, you, when you're such a hybrid at the position, you're really something that a lot of people hasn't seen from that size and speed aspect of it. So they said Davis is showing up, man. And, and Davis got first team reps today in practice, you know what I mean? So if Davis is showing up at this early in his, in his career, flashing off stuff and, 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 you know, having his way this early in his career. Listen, going against the Eagles offensive line, the first string, it's, it's, going, to be, it's going to be a test. It's going to be a test because not too many people just do what they want. Not too many people just do what they want, man. It's only been a couple, man. You know what I mean? And we do real good against guys like Aaron Donald. We do good against guys who we got to stop. You know what I mean? But Vita Vey kind of had his way with us. Every time we played the Bucks last year, Vita Vey was a force. And he's one of those guys, man, with that quick bull rush. So we're going to see exactly what Davis is made of when he got a block against, you know, Kelsey and those guys for sure. But listen, man, the sky's the limit for this kid, man. And I think with that type of bull rush being mixed in there with Fletcher Cox and Javon Hargrave, you will get that interior rush. And this team will be putting on a lot of turnover masks this year, man. So shout out to Davis, man. So, man, let's get into some quick camp notes, man. Let's talk about what happened from the fourth training camp of the Philadelphia Eagles going into the 2022 season. Um... Philadelphia Eagles uh, training camp. Jordan Davis got first team reps. We talked about that. Miles Sanders broke off multiple long runs versus the first team defense today. Very encouraging. I mean, it's not surprising, though. It's not surprising that Miles Sanders is taking this approach during training camp. 
It's what's supposed to be happening. He feel disrespected. So he going out there and showing people that he not nobody to be played with. I really, really think Miles Sanders can crack a thousand yards this year. Now, it ain't hard to do for Miles Sanders, but I think Miles Sanders is going to put the league on display this year. I think Miles Sanders and Kenneth Gainwell can challenge a lot of a lot of dual threat tandems, bro. As as you know, the best the best running backs, the best dual running backs in the league, best dual threats in the league. We're going to see how that shake out, though. Um, Gordon Mitchell was intercepted by Sean Bradley on the pass over the middle. It's training camp that happens. You know what I mean? But shout out to Sean Bradley, man. The defense is showing up. I'm telling y'all, man. Uh, Jordan Mailata pancaked. Uh, Tyron Jackson during one-on-one -on -one drills. That's big Mailata. We expect that. Uh, Hertz hit A.J. Brown for a nice completion down the sideline over Darius Slay. That's a battle, man. Hertz is learning how to throw in these tight windows, man, with this Slay and Bradbury duo out there. Believe that. Uh, number six, Hertz then hit Jalen Rager on a drag route. Uh, mostly short passes today by Jalen. He was seven for seven and had himself a solid practice. Listen, that's what we need. That's what we need. It's not going to be there all the time. You know what I mean? Sometimes it's just not going to be there. So you got to get acclimated to taking the dump downs. You know what I mean? That would have saved him on some of them interceptions that Sirianni was talking about. How he forced it thrown across his body, but they wanted him to go to Kenneth Gainwell. Check it down sometime. The good quarterbacks, check it down right there. You know what I mean? The great quarterbacks, just check it down. They check it down. Live the, you know, live. Live to fight another down. You know what I mean? Um, Minshew had another pass intercepted. Uh... Wait, wait, mostly short pass. Okay, Hurts hit A.J. Brown again for a nice catch and run. Minshew had another pass intercepted when facing the first team defense on a ball tipped by Darius Slay and caught by Marcus Epps. Minshew had had a rough camp so far. Um, number 10, Jordan Davis was dominating one-on-one -on -one drills, bull rushing, and winning every rep. Wow. Every rep? Come on now. 11, uh, Jordan Davis tried to bull rush Cam Jurgens, but the second round pick stood him up. Mm. Beef jerky. He tried, he tried, he tried, he tried. He tried. He tried beef jerky, but beef jerky ain't one of them ones, bro. Shout out to Lane Johnson for his emphasis on the pick. You, I ain't like it at two, but you know what I mean? That's very, very encouraging right there. Um, Jalen Rager was described as getting out-muscled and out-maneuvered by DBs. Also had a really, really bad drop. Miles Sanders, Quez Walkers, and Darius Slay all took the Rager to the sideline to give him some tips. Rager then followed that up with a 15-yard catch from Gardner Minshew. You know, I just feel like since... The target is on Rager back, so to speak. You know what I mean? Everybody's expecting him to fail already. You know, they they make they 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 they, they kind of like go too far. He was described as being out muscled. I ain't heard no I come on. I ain't heard of DBs out muscling nobody else. They ain't out muscling Quez. Uh, they probably can't out muscle AJ, but I haven't heard that. They ain't out muscling they out muscling Smitty. So you mean to tell me now all of a sudden he's the weakest wide receiver? Come on, man. He got to fight to get his respect back. Similar to what Miles Sanders, I respect everything that Miles Sanders is doing. This is how you get your respect back. This is exactly how you get your respect back. And shout out to Miles Sanders for saying, I'm going to show you instead of talk. You ain't got to go to Miles Sanders and talk to Miles Sanders on the sideline right now. Because Miles Sanders is ripping off multiple long runs. You see what I'm saying? Miles Sanders probably don't even want to talk to nobody. It is what it is, man. But listen, let's talk about, you know... The injuries, man. I seen the Dallas Cowboys, you know, had a couple injuries or there was a report that a couple players was banged up. And you know what I mean? Reports like that, you know what I mean? Give me further, further, you know, faith in our coaching staff. Because we don't like it when it comes out that the Philadelphia Eagles might not be practicing as hard as other teams or as long as other teams. But I will tell you this. The emphasis is going into this thing healthy. I'll ask a lot of people around here, who would you rather have? Would you rather have a roster where you going into it with all of your guys? Or would you rather have a roster of key guys being hurt going into this because they got hurt in training camp? We just trying to minimize that, man. And you know, I understand why teams like the Dallas Cowboys are going hard in training camp, though, because they have a lot of spots that are open for a fight. There's only a couple guys on the Dallas Cowboys roster and, and teams that have these type of rosters, they're, which they are set in stone. You know what I mean? Like the Packers. You know, their roster is pretty set in stone, but they still got some visible holes. When you're looking at the – or, or, or spots for competition. When you're looking at the Philadelphia Eagles, there's really no spots for competition. You know Hurts is starting. You know Miles Sanders is starting. You know A.J. Brown and Smitty starting. You know Devontae Sm – you, you know Quez Watkins getting all the time. You know about Dallas Goddard. You know about the offensive and the defensive lines. You know about Hassan Reddick. You know about Slay and Brad. I'm, I'm basically naming the whole team. We don't have no question marks, so why would we go out there going full throttle with guys who we know we got money invested to and guys that are going to start and get a lot of playing time? Think about that as we get closer. We're about 11 days, 11 days away from our first preseason game, so think about that. Don't expect to see a lot of action from guys that matter.
Don't expect to see a diversified creative playbook. Expect to see vanilla offense and expect to see these coaches planning on picking out guys, probably not even necessarily for starting time during, you know, during this time, but just to fill the roster. Just to fill the roster. I expect to see a lot of our undrafted free agents. I expect to see some Carson Strong. I expect to see stuff like that during this preseason. It's football. I don't care. But I don't expect anybody getting any meaningful playing time to play, man. But let me know what y'all think in the comments about the fourth practice that the Philadelphia Eagles held. Let me know what y'all thinking about, you know, um, uh, Jordan Davis and the rest of these young guys out there putting forth their best effort. You know the vibes, man. Tap in. Thank y'all for streaming the music. Thank y'all for grabbing y'all Hurt Season hat, showing y'all ultimate belief in the QB1. You know what the vibes is, man. Lord Brunson back at you with the back at you. And I am the best reporting on the Eagles.